All right, mute stream, pause stream, whatever, if you're watching and you're playing. No stream snipings. A gift for you. What was that? Oh, <laughs> my city. Thank you so much for the continued gift sub. Mwah. In the bottom right corner, we have Dark Matter and Oriat. In the top right, Specchio and Rock. In the top left, Camel and Urtsf. And in the bottom left, Doc and Havoc. They're playing two people playing one race. Two people playing one race. Looks like we don't have any four pools to start us off. The Zergs on one side, the Protoss on the other. What a map. I love this map, it's so ridiculous. One gas. Two little tiny expansions, if you want to call them that. And uh, your main. That's it. Players deciding right now if they want a micro or macro. Gate first. Gate first, okay. No walling though. No walling. Pool has gone down for Doc. They have gone for the nine pool. Nine pool, nine gas. Looks like we have a uh, nine over pool for our brown player. And two gates for white. So just one gate for red, uh, yeah, and no gas either. I love how the, the, the pylons are also a giant size on the, the minimap. Everything is the same size. <laughs> it looks like it's that big. Every single building is massive. And Miss Kylie throwing some panties in the chat. Thank you so much. Mwah! Welcome everybody from Ms. Kylie's channel. The two gate first zealot is out. There goes the second gate, second pylon. No gases for either of our white or red players. Gas now being taken there. Blue already has enough gas, I think, for speed. And we got six links heading over to our red. Red doesn't have a lot right now. Red just has a single zealot. Are there more zealots that are gonna be on the way? Is Blue gonna be able to do a lot of damage to these probes? Probes need to get pulled right here. First probe does go down. Needs to be careful. Looks like some decent micro right there. Needs to get those other zealots out. Pulls back. The moment more lings are gonna flood in. Uh-oh, we got two people and nobody to pull the probes though. Second zealot does pop out. First zealot will go down though. Only one ling drops. And there are five, there's the two more lings. They're waiting back, they're waiting back. Red gonna go ahead and start pulling the probes. Are they gonna get the probes across? Mineral, yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go, get some good damage in. Gonna get another ling down. Another probe will fall though. I think that's three probes that are fallen. Speed is done. These lings are fast little buggers. And we got an expansion coming up for uh, Brown over here. Someone roll sportscaster. Ling's gonna try and get in. There are five zealots at this point. I don't know if they're gonna choose for that. They might just go back and go harass Red again. Red's giving them a little more of an opening. White does get a scout with the probes. Dragging all the zealots. Ling's are gonna get in. They're gonna be on the probes. Probes get pulled, but the zealots aren't there to help. Gonna be going for the gas. Nope, gonna go ahead and pull back and decide nothing there. Doc's just doing a little baiting right now. Doc, come on, we're playing StarCraft. It's gross, man. And Lair Tech for Brown, who's just sitting with four lings at the main. I'm surprised Blue hasn't tried to poke at Brown yet. Would be able to do a ton of damage over there. Uh-oh. One Zealot pokes out. 
And nothing happening right there. Nothing happening. We do have tech up citadel. Ooh. Ooh, we have the citadel, boys. Where are the overlords at? Is Brown going for another expand? Wow, we are just macro city. Blocks his own drone. In the meantime, Ling's trying to get in. There is a goon here to help out. Really trying to prevent all scouting, if possible. Really trying to be prevent all scouting. Doing a good job right there. Second creep colony going up for blue. Blue's now in a little bit of a difficult spot. They've got these Ling's, but they don't have any tech. We already have Lair up here. And uh, Brown... Now going to be in this, some serious trouble. Loses all of those drones. Only has two lings out. Oh no, Brown. Oh no. Ertz of, and Mr. Camel, get your uh, drones working. Save the drones. Oh boy. Oh, this is, this is, this is not good. Drones are saved, but not much left right there. Red looks to poke pressure at blue, decides against it. But red, oh, does have some cannons up. That will be helpful. Overlord there, there is no overlord for brown. Where's brown's overlord? Oh, he's to the right. And DTs are just about out. I like this little line. Try it on red. Not going to be super successful there. Unless he can charge in with all of his zealots and dragoons. Take out those cannons. Red looking to push forward. But that is going to be tough to get to. Going to be tough to get to. Hydra's den coming down. <clears throat> and Brown able to drone back up. Doing all right. Hanging in there. Here comes the first DT. And don't go too far. They've committed so far. They're going to keep it. Oh, they keep it alive. Oh, they keep it alive. Just barely. But the DT is going to start doing work on some zealots out here. Red is going to have to pull all the way back. Throws down a citadel of their own. And uh, expansion coming up for white. In the meantime, DT is moving towards brown. Oh, no. They're not getting the notification either. Oh, they're losing all of their defenses. No. Oh, gosh. Here comes the Overlord. Oh, come. <laughs> Don't try and attack with drones. <laughs> Don't do it. What are they going for? They went fast lair into nothing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Debbie, thank you for the sub. Oh, no. And bye, bye. Down they go. There's a little elimination there. I think we might have some lurker tech coming out from our blue player. There are no obs anywhere though. Oh, there's the there's the robo. DTs here could do some damage if they stay to the right side. Oh, never mind. Never mind. And Brown is left to Redrone again. All right, Brown's <laughs> Brown's still hanging in there somehow. <laughs> still hanging in there, and it looks like everybody's where the DTs. DTs time is over. Kind of want them to morph together, steal a drone, and get out. And oof, almost. Oh yeah, they're, they're all trying to work off one gas right now. That's right, I forgot. More gateways going down. We might have some mass zealots, but here is a problem. Oh, oh, white sees, white knows. White knows, they're first to identify. Gonna try and get a snipe. Not gonna get it. Needs to pull away. Just saves the Protoss DT. 
One shot away, and uh, there's an observatory, so we're gonna have observers out pretty now soon. I've given you twenty-five dollars and gotten six and a half minutes of quality entertainment. Thanks for the investment advice. Love you, Llama. Thanks, Jeeves. Always happy to give great advice. Mm. I think you can just go kill top left. Oh, poor top left. Zerg Brothers. Red's gonna try and make the move as well. Everybody wants that second gas. Storm comes down, gets a couple shots, just gonna just gonna knock some shields out. Everybody wants the second gas, but nobody wants to meet in the middle to go get the second gas. Overlord goes down, supply blocks. Galore. Woof. And slow push of the lurkers. Slow push of the lurkers trying to work their way towards the Protoss. I like, I like what Blue's doing here. They've taken control of the middle. This might give them a chance to push out to the left. Oh, those are all stacked up. So nice for a storm. Yeah, spread those bad boys out. And there's the first storm. Ouchie mama. Ouchie mama. Brown decides to go for... Nope, 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 nope. Sides against that. Here comes Red from the other side. Those lurkers are low, though. They're going to get picked off. One Dragoon shot each. We'll take them out. Down they go. Brown, Blue going to be able to push out, try and defend them a little bit better. Observers are there, but there are three lurkers doing work. These lings clean up a little bit. White might come in for the ultimate cleanup. They're just watching. They're just sitting and watching. And Blue holds for now. Four lurkers. Wow, that is a hard lurker to see. In the meantime, Brown is doing something. Doing something, man. Really mining heavy on the side bases. And uh, nobody's pushing, man. Nobody wants to make any pushes. Second base taken there. Blue's finally decided to take their side bases as well. Side bases. White's just in huge turtle mode. I feel like he could push out and do a ton of damage right now. Does he have observer? He does have an observer. But nobody, this is a bloodbath. Nobody wants action. <laughs> nobody wants action on bloodbath right now. Camel being camel, yep. Gonna get a little scout right there. And uh, white looking to potentially take the mid. There's no nothing hanging out to help out. There we go. Blue gets some defenses. I think a couple storms in the middle should do plenty enough, but red is just itching at the wheel to move out there. Needs to be careful with that observer. Doesn't want to get that sniped. I'm waiting for our first hive tech to start coming out. Maybe some drops. Reavers. Uh, nothing yet there. Nothing quite yet there. Do we have Templar Archives? I guess there's not really a lot of gas. Red decides to poke forward. Regrets that decision and instantly turns around. I mean, there's no hive tech, thus there is no defiler mound. There's a spire going up, finally. And nobody feels that they can push into this main. Great opportunity for our uh, Zerg players. Great opportunity for them to sit back, build up a little bit. Red's going to go ahead and get their Templars out. They've got their Protoss Templar Archives already. Or they'll just let White do the storming instead. <laughs> <coughs> and they're both trying to control the units at the same time. <coughs> 
This is gonna be longer than our big game hunters. Double spire for brown. Wow. Looks like lurkers underway there as well. Super defensive game for all of our players. And Templar goes down. Blue looking to potentially move at Brown. They're scared to give up that front position. There's only one Lurker there. They could probably do a dent, but if you move out and you give up this uh, front here, one of these players are happy to take over it. <coughs> I think we might have a big Muta ball coming in for, for Brown. We'll have to see what they do. Bunch of Avillas playing right now. And a Dark Archon. Are we gonna see a little steel action here? What are they gonna take? As a hatchery? Where are they gonna put it? One Muta! Excuse me, I was wrong. It was one Mutalisk. Oh my god. And White pushes out though, and they do take the middle. They push all of Blue back. Trying to look to advance. That's a tough little bridge to cross, though. <laughs> I forgot Zealot's legs. <laughs> I don't know if you want to walk into that anyways, though. I don't know if you want to walk into that anyways. Where's the mass shuttles? Those are mineral only. Just get like seven shuttles. Brrr, drop, drop, drop. Drop, 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 drop. Dead. Where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna go? They need they need zealot legs. They need zealot legs. I heard some sort of drops. Not sure where this shuttle's trying to go. Okay. It's a strange drop, but manages to get that off. Loses one observer. Second observer goes down. If there's DTs in this army, they can do some pretty. Good damage, there are cannons back here though. And white looking to push into red. White with the superior numbers. Are they gonna continue this push? Is there anything that red's gonna be able to do here to hold on? I don't know. I don't know. Not looking good for our players. White and red. Red now wants to go at this Protoss. It's just a back and forth Protoss duel. In the meantime, Zergs are sitting back. We got a hive. We got a hive. Ooh, we got some Ultralisk. Okay. They're going in. I don't know if I like this. Huge storm does go down, though. Gets the observer, gets all those units. They got three shuttles. And deciding against it. Never mind. Deciding against it. Oh, the blue hide looks so cool. Look how much different it looks, though. That's really cool. Running out of money. <laughs> Mining out. There you go. Drops. Woo. Look at that. It's like a black heart. Oh my God, it's gross. It's just gross. Can you see the whole map in this? No, you can't, darn. Tr 
transition to here. <laughs> How much money do you think you get on this map? You don't like the particle effects? I like them. White looking to establish dominance in the middle. Blue, as soon as he gets drop, I mean, he can just go walk into any base, drop everything, and I'm pretty sure he just wins. We got a mass Ling. 1 0 Lings, though. Looks like they counterbalance each other decently well. Doesn't have the adrenal up upgrades, though, but he's still doing work on White and Camel and Ertz. Are pushing white back. Wow. Gotta wait for Gary. <laughs> they actually are going for Gary. <laughs> One at a time. Red gonna go ahead and push out, clean up all those lings. Brown now pushing back into the middle. Blue's just waiting for that drop. And I think Blue's gonna win it. That's who I'm putting my money on. I love the double spire into one mutilisk. Might be my favorite build so far. Spawn and lings to spend the money. You might regret that later. Might regret that later. <clears throat> Mind control shuttle. There you go. Need to take another base in? Bro, all the bases are mining out at this point. You guys are too late. Somebody had to go kill early to take another base. You guys are too Oh, wow. Triple Dark Archon. Purple and blue gearing up for the drop. But in the meantime, red is also gearing up for the drop of their own. They've got the Reavers picked up. Single Muta doing work. <laughs> Ling's trying to push over, not gonna do super well. Specchio's planning for the mind control on those shuttles, trying to get some Reavers. Nothing, nobody really making a push yet. Don't reveal carriers. You mean carrier. Carrier. Wow. I mean, come on. This has got to be the winner, right? This has got to be our, our victor. We got like so many overlords still to fill. Couple good storms destroy it, blues? Nah, you need more than a couple good storms for all this, my man. <laughs> you need more than a couple good storms for this. Some reaver helps. Hits help though. Some reaver shots help. Rip. Down goes the filer. We need to turn those into guardians. Don't get them killed. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Get the storm. Oh, the maelstrom storm. No. No. <laughs> oh my god, he got him! The Maelstrom Storm! We need those for Guardians! Please don't get them killed! <laughs> no! Blue looking to instead 
maybe go for red with their uh, with their little drop here, and they might get some good damage done. Red is completely out of position. Doesn't have much in their main at all. Just a few cannons. Can they get the drops in? Here come the drops. Drop the units, please. There you go. Units in the base. Red is completely out of position, and I think that is going to do it for red. They are going to get wiped right there as the Ling drops just do everything. Wow. Wow, GG. Zero One Ling is going to go to work. In the meantime, we do have a Guardian. With a second on the way. Could have had about 12, but Mr. Camel got all of them killed, so you know. <laughs> Archon going to town, doing a little bit of work, but doesn't matter. GG. We can probably kill Blue, but let's wait. <laughs> and Blue with the first move. <laughs> Three carriers. <laughs> I love it. I love the carrier game. They're gonna get five. Three guardians here. Blue's looking to uh, to snipe. Gas is open. That's right. White's gonna try and move in and steal that gas. Just like a Protoss. Kill Red, you take his base. And in the meantime, Brown starting to lay in with some Guardians on Blue. Blue's great position is suddenly on the uh, back foot here. Going to try and move in with some Hydralis. Not able to really get them close enough. Gets a Plague off. Down goes some Guardians. White moving out into the middle of the map. And there is no contest right there. These Lurker, I mean, they could move in with some good, some good clouds there. <laughs> don't play guardians. I don't know. They're all down to one health right now. Seems like a pretty decent uh, Idea to me honestly Seems like a pretty good move in my books. I ain't gonna lie I'd say that was the better move personally You definitely play guardians here. Yeah, what about Lurkers? Ooh, the Plague hit on the front line. As White immediately goes for uh, the second base. Still plenty of gas left over there. That's going to help them a lot, especially with this force they're building up right here. Especially with this force. Throws down the cloud now. Pull out! Pull out! <laughs> Man, this is crazy. I'm casting. White's gonna win by being boring. Seems like it. A massive boring carrier strat. What else? Classic. Where are those at? Here come the guardians! Don't get them! Don't get Maelstrom stormed! <laughs> He's like, don't even. <laughs> Carrier's looking to show. Carrier's looking for a show. There's not going to be enough to defend against him. Both players are conspiring at the same time to take Brown out. Poor Brown. Cut between a Protoss and a Zerg. Wow. The cross map Maelstrom. That's dirty. That's dirty, my friends. You've got mail. Oh, that's good. I like that. Brown gonna try and do what he can. I don't know if there's much. Blue, on the other hand, still plotting to kill Brown. That's a lot of guardians right there. Great for the ground force, but no answer for all the carriers. No answer for, uh... 
Five carriers. Six one right there. Could get two more pretty soon with these minerals. This second gas gonna help him a lot. Interceptors are too expensive. They can't afford all the interceptors. <laughs> gonna pull back. Brown holds on, but Brown is mining out. Brown is mining out. Was I playing? No, I'm casting it. Greater Spire. Looks like they want to go into Guardians as well. Here come the Guardians. And... Nope. Careful with the Mutas. Sniping off all the drones. Blue's getting mad at Brown. Oh my gosh. I really wish that he mind controlled a drone and then built Zerg over here. That would be my like ideal world. Brown, go away, please. <laughs> Another plague. I love this because the plague just holds him back. You got to sit back for an hour until they regen all their health again. Blue gets in. Blue sees. Oh my gosh, they see the carriers. Storm goes down. And bye bye all of that. And now Blue. <laughs> now Blue knows. Oh, Blue now knows as they're morphing some guardians. Rip. <laughs> And the trash talk, too. White's gonna say, we're on two base, though. <laughs> Guardians coming over here. Maelstrom. Ooh, those are so weak. Those are so weak right now. No defense on these interceptors. Just gonna slowly uh, starve him out. But he does have this second base. Nobody's made a move at the second base. Very interesting. And I think Blue is gonna... Listen, and uh, <clears throat> go ahead and make a move right there. Nope. Maybe put a cloud up and then go. There you go. There you go. Going for second base. Carrier's going to work their way over. They won't be able to help under clouds, though. Going to definitely need some storms in here. Zergling's making their way in. Going to get a little bit of damage done. Are they going to be... Oh, the Maelstrom goes off. Clutch throughout this game. Down goes the Defiler. And I think Blue is now in a very horrible position. I'm not sure anybody can beat, uh... No, I'm not sure anybody can beat <laughs> these carriers. Huge plague that does go off. If there was a Terran, that would be like the most dream in the world. Is the Terran drops an EMP on top of this army and everything just goes... Brown and blue are gonna have to team here, and even then I'm not sure they win. They got a couple disruptors, but that's that's not gonna be enough. Four disruptors ain't gonna be beating eight carriers, nine carriers. Interceptors are uh burning the dough though. But with all the maelstroms, that's really gonna hurt. Really gonna hurt. <laughs> Ally us. We got some potential teaming coming up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Brown. Oh no. Again. When will you learn? When will you learn? Camel doesn't know how to ally, guys. Exactly. Somebody's got to make a move sometime. He's slowly getting a couple disruptors. That's six. Oh, the storm shots, though, are huge. There's going to be even another storm. Oh, no. Oh, he misses. He whips it behind. Able to do a little bit of damage. Gets another storm off. It's pretty big. There's no micro from our brown Zerg and Zerg. Bye bye. Sorry, devourers, not disruptors. 
Bye bye there. These are very weak carriers though. They're gonna make a move at white. Will the devourers be able to hold this off? They're very they're very stacked right now. If they can just somehow get close, get some hydras underneath as well. Get your army together. Go, 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 go! Get your hydras in there! And that's good. Yeah, white's pulling out. White has gotta pull out for sure. No air upgrades. There's plus one, I think, on, on this side. Oh, plus two, actually. Brown has looked to make a move into the main. There's nothing left in the main here. All they have are these carriers. They can actually get a lot of lings over here and do a ton of damage if they just go to the other base. Just send them to the base. To the base. Go to the base. Go right. Go right or straight anywhere. <laughs> it's right. It's right here. Oh my goodness. Oh, never mind. They're going to get dragged in, but the carriers are there now. Carriers are there, still gonna get a couple probe knockoffs before the carriers finish off these lings. Actually take out every probe but one mining the, uh, those minerals. White is down to like no workers at this point. They have a queen looking to parasite. They parasite an overlord in the back. Okay, a lot of scourge, a lot of scourge. Ooh, the Archon Force is here, though. The Archon Force is here. Thank you very much. Oh, my gosh. Who wins this? Who wins it? I don't think we can call it yet. I wanted to call it for the mass carriers, but they're all Plagueut. They're all down to just 150 shields. So they've literally lost two-thirds of their health. We have a Lurker drop in here. Taking out all of the probes. <laughs> they don't have an observer. <laughs> they stole it. They just mindstorm it. And where's the observer now? The one lurker hangs on. He hangs on. He can't kill it. He, he killed an archon. There they go. <laughs> a lot of damage done right there. Huge damage. Uh-oh, we got five devourers looking to come in. Oh, nope, they're going to back off. Kind of back off. Still got these minerals. There you go. He knows. Two-thirds of the health of these carriers are gone. Two-thirds are gone. All they have to do is just get some basic shots off. Interceptors can't be remade, probably. They're, they have, like, no money whatsoever. Everybody's broke. Everybody's broke. They're trying to do what they can. The Scourge! They've got the Scourge! They have them all here! Oh, if they can get them in at just the right time. If they can get them in at just the right time. They've got all of these Hydras as well. They need to do some sort of, like, sneak around strategy. No! The Maelstrom on all of the Scourge, though! The Maelstrom on all of Brown Scourge! Wow! Wow! Huge! Absolutely mental! Is he gonna be able to pick an Archon off, though? Here come in some more Scourge! Oh, they aren't targeting, though! Maelstrom hits, doesn't miss... Doesn't hit a lot. Brown might be calling out right now. You still got plenty of units, Brown. You're in this. Everybody's weakened. <laughs> Brown's just sacking their overlords. <laughs> the 
Blue's got to try and make a decision. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They've got one, two, three. There's not a lot there. They got to be careful of the storms. They're going to drop on the bridge. First storm goes off. Doesn't catch a lot. Scorch, you're going to get hit. They're going to hit. Down goes one. Down goes two. Down goes three carriers. The maelstrom catches on all of the devourers, though. They're going to be knocked back. There's so many <laughs> dark archons right here. Thank you, SMC. They get the hydras underneath. The scorch need to be careful. Carriers need to be careful. Another one drops. And he's going to continue pushing forward. He's going to lose this High Templar as well. No, he doesn't focus it down. Oh, he's got this mining base over here, but the Hydras are going to push in. Archon is going to drop. Gets one Hydra a second. Nice storm. Hits a decent amount. Finally gets that taken out. And here we go. Dropping all the probes. Goodbye expansion. And the Brown decides, why not send everything that I have left in? Where are the carriers? Four carriers left. They're so weakened. The cannons dropping the lings, doing whatever damage they can. They still have a ton of units, though. <laughs> they still have so many units. White knows they're in trouble. Half shields on one. Three, four shields on another. This DT is here. Gonna do a little bit more. Lings trying to clean up what they can. Doing a little bit of damage. Gonna knock a pylon out. Unpower a couple gateways. Scourge go. They drop another. They drop the third. There's one carrier left. No. And a plague. Just to, just to put a little damage on. The Zergs don't realize it. But they are now each other's competition. White is out. White is out of this. It is brown versus blue. There are so many Scourge still just chilling up here. There's still money to make units. Camel, Ertz, what are you doing? Protect the probe. <laughs> They're mining with one probe. <laughs> oh my god. They're going to try and probe off one at a time. Brown, make units, please. There's so much you can do still. If they just mass lings right now and send everything they have, I think they win. Literally just mass lings. <clears throat> Brown. 4 p.m. and 35. <laughs> they left. What are they doing? What are they doing? You still have money. Thank you. Oh, they're doing a drop. They're doing a massive drop right here. The lurkers are in position. This one's going to be able to take out that one. Oh, he gets he gets that off. Gets the cloud off. Needs to get some stuff under the cloud or move away. Don't No, don't send your drones into the lurkers. Don't send your drones into the lurkers. Huge maelstrom goes off with another storm. To weaken blue, is Brown gonna be able to do it? They're they're both AFK, I think. I don't even think they're here. <laughs> Gets the burrow. Lurker goes down. God. Camel's APM up 400%. Out of minerals now. It's okay. Everyone is. Just, just run forward. Do something. You've got, what? Five lurkers? No, don't send your lings to die, though. But White's rebuilding! Oh my god, the humanity! He has so much gas, he can get massive storms! Get some Ar Archons out! Is White gonna pull it back? Is Blue gonna let him mind control? Just steal some things! Steal some things! Oh, be careful, be careful! Be careful! There's another one! Oh no! Oh, he's making the charge in. Does he have any storms? He's got a storm. Drop a storm, please. 
He drops it, but it's not in a good spot. Only kills two Hydras. Get some Maelstrom off. Not enough right there. Needs to do more. Needed some Archons. One Maelstrom while the carrier goes to town. Look at him doing work. The carrier's gonna hold it. Get these Scourge and this Devourer involved. And they push him back. Here come the Scourge. This is gonna be it. Oh, and that is the end of Mr. Carrier. They could still make a couple Archons though and have a force. Brown is just sitting. Brown, please, you have five lurkers. Just go move, go attack, do something. Camel's up to 128 p.m. I don't, doing what? Microing the overlords? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, what a game. Please do something with these. Why try and do a little damage there? Gonna lose this dark tempo. You can't afford to lose units right now. Brown, you gotta do something, man. Make a move. All right, that's it for Brown. Brown has forfeit this game. It is down to white versus blue. They are mining. This would be a great place for that DT. I guess you gotta get him through there though. And they, they have refused to move these lurkers for like 12 minutes at least, if not longer. White looking to push out. They've got an Archon. That's pretty big damage right there. Archon, few storms. Does White have this? Did we just kit? Did we just knock White out for no reason? Is the White going to pull back and win it? Or is it going to be blue? Gets one storm down. Can he get a second one down? Is he gonna get a free lurker? He gets a free lurker! He gets a free lurker! Wow! <gasps> and he mind controls! He gets the second! <laughs> he gets the second one! <laughs> wow! Get the Archons on those ASAP! Get the storm! It doesn't matter! It doesn't matter! It doesn't matter! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It doesn't matter. I called them out. They had one probe and 30 minerals left. This is all they have though, and the longer blue mines. Blue is now mining two bases. Two bases. The longer they wait, the worse they are. They get a guardian though! <laughs> Scourge instantly gonna go after that guardian, and down goes said guardian. But you know what? Each one of those mine controls is one less unit for their opponent. <laughs> we have Brown patrolling the map at the moment. <laughs> no take on this gas over here. Right? It's very interesting. Still some lurkers just hanging out, because why not? Because why not? <clears throat> DT tries to push out, finds no room, pulls back. I gotta wait for a little more energy, but at the same time, like I say, he's mining. He's long distance when he could be short distance mining, but you know, his choice. No damage on those. They gotta make a decision. They got a lot of charge lots. 
There's only two lurkers out there. Only two lurkers. Drone's mining. I mean, he just keeps piling up. Blue's piling up more and more. They have no gas going, though. They are straight minerals at this point. Straight minerals. That's a lot of lings to help back it up, though. But they've got storms. Storms are huge against lings and lurkers. Right now, if they come out and go storm, storm, everything in. I think they're in a good spot. Gonna mind control the overlord. Oh, gotta be careful. Don't want to lose that DT. They have one of their own. Gonna go ahead and get a storm off. Doesn't hit the lurkers though. Doesn't hit the lurkers. Time Brown's overlord's just taking some damage. Oh my god, did they miss again? Oh, come on, white. Oh, there you go. There's a hit. There's a hit. I mean, I think they have enough to push out. They can also mind control. Is there an observer in this army? There's not. They're going to have to mind control an overlord to get any observing. Oh, they do have an observer. Is he going to get the mind control? He does. He does. And down goes that one. Down goes that one. He needs to be careful with the observer, though. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Defiler. Mind control. Mind control the defiler and plague. Oh, it's a dance. It's such a dance. And blue decides to lose everything to brown. Oh my god. Oh my god, he gets another lurker, he pulls it back. In the meantime, blue loses a defiler and stuff to brown's random lurkers. At this point, blue's really unsure what to do. Brown just being annoying at this point. Oh my gosh, Need Ovi wants to get a mind control on that overlord. Pulls a lot of lings in though. Lings are gonna get the Dark Archon. They will. They will get Dark Archon. They will go down though. And blue running out of units, but they do have money. They've got some more mutas. They've got some mutas in the back here. And wow, Brown continuing to be a pain in the butt. He's gonna finally go down. He sends all his lings in though. He probably needs to be careful with those. Lots of spore crawlers there to deal with the mutas, sunkins, lurkers. He's gonna take out all of Blue's forces. What is happening this game? Now we have guardians. Down goes another lurker. White has to be feeling good. White has to just go at this point. Just go, just go. He has Maelstrom, he has Storm, he can deal with anything at this point. Guardians are so much money and they're just gonna get Maelstrom stormed. It's not gonna do anything or they're gonna get mind controlled. There's not enough. Go White, go, you've got this. I don't think Brown has comeback potential. He's got nothing. No drones left. Only one lurker. <laughs> and there he goes. Instantly loses it. Instantly loses the first guardian. Thank you very much, she says. I think White has done it. Blue still has money. But I just don't see how they can fight this army. Anything they send over is instantly getting taken. <laughs> They're just feeding units to, to white at this point. Thank you, Philly. They're just feeding units. The mass energy. Super cheap OP has won it. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. 
Oh, the Ling's gonna die. He's got stacked lurkers. Spawn Broodling would probably be helpful here for sure. But I don't know if they can afford all that stuff. Not the queen, they have to get, eh. They're, that, they're at least mining. They are at least mining. Giorgi. Oh wow, somebody's got to push, man. This is longer than all of the games. <laughs> Blood path. <sighs> wow. Oh, the scourge gonna come out though, and down goes one guardian. Second guardian might be out now. Urtsif is done trolling. Second guardian goes down. But I think White can just move out. There is just not enough stuff here. He has an Archon. You might want to move all your units, my man. Might want to move all your units. There you go. You got a Lurker, too. Blue's going to try and push forward. Here he goes. It's the final stand, I believe. As they're just running out of everything. Here come all the links. The Archon does fall, though. But the Lurker is there. There is no detection. I think this Lurker and the Maelstroms are going to do it. There's still a Guardian overhead. Guardian. He does take the Lurker. Oh, my God. It's so tight. How is this still a battle? Guardian's too far exposed. He's going to lose the Guardian. He pulls it back just in time. You have a devourer, you have a devourer, get it in there. Make sure you have all your units, he storms his own stuff, doesn't matter, he gets a lot of stuff. More lings and hydras pulling from behind though, there's not enough energy. There it is, for the maelstrom. This devourer should be able to clean up this guardian though, one more hit, in come the lings. Will this archon have enough to hold? No it will not, has blue done it? He's pulling back to the cannons! White was too passive. He let blue mine for too long. He let blue mine for too long. And that, my friends, is how the cookie crumbles. Gee, and gee, wow. A one hour bloodbath. Woo! What a game. What a game. 57 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh.